Hi, my name is Father Dennis Lewandowski, chaplain here at Lucy University as we continue on our reflections during the season of Lent. Today is March 21st, the fifth Sunday of Lent. We're going to talk a little bit about conscience. Scripture writer tells us, I will put my law within them and I will write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. As a former pastor, I had the privilege of teaching incoming Catholics about our church's understanding of the notion of conscience. As far back as the time of Jeremiah, hundreds of years before even Jesus lived, our ancestors in faith understood that we all have access to God's truth in our deepest core. Like us, the Jews at that time understood that rules written for the public are necessary for keeping society running smoothly. But ultimately, we have the responsibility first and foremost to follow the laws God has written on our hearts. This teaching is so important that the Catholic Church has a term for it. It is called the primacy of conscience. It means that whether we are the Pope, a bishop, a lay person who has never taken a single class in theology, we can listen in to the deepest place in our hearts, that inner core and sanctuary. There, we can discover what God really wants of us and wants for us. What is written on our hearts may or may not be the same as what human authorities are telling us, in which case we are then obliged to follow God's laws. Even very young children can quickly grasp the idea of listening to their conscience. The thing is, it does take some effort to notice what God's law on our hearts is leading us to do or not do. And sometimes it takes more courage to follow God's law than rather civil laws. And so for today, this fifth Sunday of Lent, I ask us to reflect upon this. Can you think of a time when you followed your own conscience instead of what somebody else told you to do? How did it feel to do just that? And what might God be inviting you to do or not do despite outside pressures these days? So may God bless you as we continue on this Lenten journey. Amen.